You're walking on a path alongside a river. You see a body flowing downstream and you quickly help to take the body out. You continue to walk feeling pretty good about yourself and then you see another body flowing down the river. You rush over to take that body out. You can hardly believe your eyes as you continue on your path and you see one more body coming down the river. You, of course, help to take that body out. At this point, you're so irritated of taking the bodies out of the river, you start to walk to the top of the hill to see who's throwing the bodies into the water. Ultimately, you're walking to the source. In most organizations, we tend to go for the bodies, the symptoms, the behaviors. We think we're solving the issues when in reality, most of them continue to repeat themselves. Solutions that address only the symptoms of a problem, not fundamental causes, tend to have short-term benefits at best. So let's go to the psychology of things for a moment. As humans, we're born to have physical needs, like water, food, and air. In addition, we're also born with emotional needs, such as connection, autonomy, attunement, love, and trust. Depending on our environment and circumstances growing up, sometimes holes get poked in these needs, and it, it has an impact on different areas of your emotional growth. One area is interpersonal skills, which is the ability to develop and maintain reciprocal relationships. Self-regulation, your ability to manage your emotions when challenges or changes arise, and self-perception, how you perceive yourself. This is what is throwing our bodies in the river. This is the internal source. In our workplaces, behaviors or bodies manifest themselves as stress, absenteeism, blame, conflict, avoidance, shame, gossip, cynicism, and poor decision making, which has a direct impact on employee engagement. So let's take a look at Gallup's research. It found that 30% of engaged employees work with passion and feel a profound connection to their work. 52% were considered not engaged and are essentially checked out. They're basically sleepwalking through their day. 18% are actively disengaged. These are employees that are acting out their unhappiness and undermining what their engaged coworkers accomplish. And 60% of big data products will fail be to go beyond piloting because of cultural issues. So research will tell you that organizations with an increase in engaged employees versus actively disengaged will see different results. They'll see 41% lower absenteeism, 24% less turnover, 70% fewer safety incidences, 40% of fewer quality defects, and 17% of higher productivity. So the question is, how do you create cultures of optimal human engagement and performance? Well, we have to work from the inside out. We have to go to the source of awareness. So how do you connect with others? How do you respond to change? And how do you perceive yourself? So now let's take a work, let's take a look at the work, the what. We'll dive into a three-phase framework. The first being the learner within. The second being the relationship between. And the last phase is the outward system. So the learner within, individuals and teams will be trained to deconstruct their conditioned response. Conditioned mental structures of which, of which we are unaware actually hold us prisoner. So the relationship between, we explore the relationship between human behavior and the systems within the organization. Sometimes behavior is caused by systems in place. 
We try so hard to push growth, but we don't realize that sometimes we have to remove structures limiting it. So we create conditions for optimal performance. The outward system. We integrate accountability, communication, and feedback systems for both human and organizational growth and engagement. So let's break down a quick example in terms of self-regulation. Let's say you have an employee named Judy. Judy is typically angry on a daily basis. She walks into meetings with her angry attitude. In response, some colleagues become silent, others become angry also, and then you have others who try to make it better. You've had numerous different talks with, with Judy, but it hasn't worked. The issue is, and Einstein said it the best, no problem can be solved from the same conscious that created it. Imagine for a moment providing a different level of awareness for you and your team on self-regulation, exploring what it means when your brain is functioning out of your emotional brain versus your prefrontal cortex. Exploring how that impacts Judy and the team. Instead of problem solving, you change the thinking that produced the problem in the first place. It's different, right? Change from the inside out, a higher level of consciousness, the source. So the next question is, is how does this get done? We provide individual coaching and group facilitation using a variety of different assessments. Everything we do is based on current research on the brain, psychology, change, and emotional intelligence. We provide high capacity, personally tailored training specific to the needs of your organization. And finally, we come to the why, the most important. Internal emotional development offers the greatest degree of leverage in attaining your full potential. You have to go to the source. That is where you must start. The fullest development of your leaders and team is essential in creating a culture of optimal engagement. You must search within and look in between to release outwardly a learner who builds relationships and creates true change within a system. I hope you partner with us at Emanate Consulting. We work together to create a culture of optimal human performance. Till next time, emanate your best selves.